Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in. Thank you for your likes, overwhelming comments, positive, negative. They are always welcome on my channel. Thank you so much guys for always coming back to check on me. Thank you for your love and support. I really appreciate that so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And I mean it. I mean guys, without you, where will I have been? Hey, new subscribers, feel at home. Returning subscribers, come back and feel at home okay let's talk about the issues that are always brought up on this table let's analyze together let's criticize together let's expose let's also agree to disagree disagree to agree and also let's learn if we have to yeah guys haven't i told you something i love you to the moon and back to the moon and back because you deserve it keyboard reactors you're the best premier gang hey what can i say guys you're just the best okay Thank you also super slappers in the house. I really appreciate your support big time. I can't leave you behind. Who else, guys, am I missing out? Also, there are my traders, <laughs> not my traders, my customers, you know, who always come and check on my, on my shop. I really appreciate that because I've been checking all those clicks that you're coming around and checking and checking. I know that, oh, my girls are with me. Big shout out to Sarah Mudoni. She got her mug yesterday. You can also pick anything from the shop as well. We have the mugs. We have the cups. We have what else? The hoodies. We have the t-shirts for the ladies, t-shirts for the men as well, and so forth. Just click there and get what you have. But if you are in Kenya, kindly get in my IG. Let's organize something for you and I will ship it as up. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for joining us on this table. Let's go straight to Nyabohanse. Where else? Today, we are just sticking in the dusty village. Actually, it used to be a dusty village, but nowadays, it's a muddy one because it's raining. Guys, you know, in Kenya, it's been raining a lot, like in all parts of Kenya. Rain, 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 rain. They say it's La Nino, El Nino, something like that. It's just raining. Like, anyhow, you wake up in the morning, it's raining. In the afternoon, it's raining. Before you go to bed, it's raining. Oh, oh. so it has turned Nyabohanse into a muddy village. And that is what it is. So let's go back to these streets. So there's this thing called collabos that has been going on in Nyabohanse, guys. These collabos, hey, they're really making people go mad. Others are sad about it. Others are gaining from it. Others, they are just sticking there. You know, people have come all the way from Nairobi to Nyabohanse for collabos. Four collabos. And others are still in the village. Before you get out of the village, you have to make sure that you have done your collabos with almost everyone in that village. Everyone in that village has to appear in your videos before you leave there. And you know, it's not easy to get someone <laughs> running with people's schedules. You see, Stella came there the other day. Before she got to Marwa, she had done how many collabos with Every she did the collabos with Paris, she did the collabos with I mean Howie, she did collabos with I don't know these boys, he, all the boys in the village, and she's still there, she's still doing all these collabos, 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 collabos in the name of what recharging their channels, you know, and all these things. It's okay. If that is how they choose, they want to do their thing, it's okay. Let's let's allow them to do their thing. But now there's a problem. In Yabohanse, guys, there is a problem. A big one? A small one? I'm not really sure, but there is a problem in Yabohanse. See, there are people in Yabohanse who are in groups, and that's something that you all know. You know, you all know that in Yabohanse, there are groups of people. This group is not talking to this other group. This other group is belongs to Marwa. They don't, you know, mingle with this other group. And then there's this other individuals who are not supposed to come and do collabs with this one. All these things are happening in Yabohanse. Now, the people who are coming to Nyabuhanza to do collabos, they've received a message from one of the brothers in Nyabuhanza. This one brother I'm talking about is the brother who has been like sidelined by the majority of YouTubers in this Nyabuhanza. He has a message for them. This is what happens before you get to that message, guys. People will come all the way from Nairobi to come and do collabos with like almost everyone in the village, right? Now, they are given orders in that village. If you do a collab with a certain person, you're not supposed to come and do another collab with anyone from this other group. This is one thing that I've learned. If you do collab with so-and-so, 
you will not be allowed to come back and do another collab from this other senior group okay so this is what these people do the visitors who come because they like everyone and they do and they want to do their collabs with everyone definitely so this is what happens this visitor from nairobi will come and do a collab with this rejected person hey <laughs> and then they will hide it they won't post it publicly and then they will come and do other collabs with this other senior group people they call themselves senior maybe or they make themselves look you know like they are of an, a different class you know what i'm talking about guys right so they'll come and do this other videos with them after doing these videos they'll be published and everything you know like on 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 when this visitor goes back to nairobi the visitor will come back and take this other video that they did with this sidelined youtuber and post it now for their own gain you know so this guy has been looking at the way things have been happening in the village and now he's out he's telling the people listen i don't want to do collabs there is no need be yourself do your own thing i don't want any collabs you don't come out here to start using people in this way and for me personally i feel this is so mean you know if you know that you're working with this group work with that group leave this person alone who is the person i'm talking about guys i'm talking about fellow the boy fellow the boy has come out with this video guys i want you to listen carefully to what he's saying okay i want you to listen carefully to what he's saying because i feel that yes he's been sidelined which is okay that's not even a problem to him because he's doing so well his channel is doing so well the project that he's doing in that village he's doing so well this boy is so blessed if you look at his you know at his videos you will notice that he's very very different from the rest you know this talking talking the other ones hiding in the bushes the other ones sitting by the roadside talking too much and stuff other ones you know going around looking for attention from these other ones and these other ones they are pulling each other you know those things are happening in <laughs> you know and this boy is not looking for attention from anyone or anyone's channel he is focusing so much on his work on his projects he's talking to you know he's doing his own thing he's pulling his videos and he's not even interested in anyone he's just trying to do his own thing by himself but you see there are people who want to use him and these people who want to use him he has a message for them let's listen to fellow the boy guys bye guys welcome to my youtube channel guys for those people who are coming across the channel for the first time Please consider by subscribing to my YouTube channel at Fellow the Boy. Fellow the Boy, the only YouTuber in the village who's focusing. Okay, what I mean is that, uh, guys, you see, I normally say that uh, in this life, when you are, you are trying to uh, to look for something, you have to try a bit at least and uh, see if you can be able to do it alone. Okay. Not just depending on people, depending on people every time. Can you ask yourself what about one day, one time, if that people will not be around? What will you come? Whom will you come and say, I'll ask help, help, okay? Wow. I fail to understand some people, they follow people, they follow people, they do, oh, let me go and let me go this, let me go do video, let me go. I want to, my, my, my views are down, my subscribers are not moving. Why don't you believe in yourself? Yeah. You know, with, with God, everything is possible, yeah? Yeah, because, for example, let, let, me, let me just take an example, like in a class, we have got uh, uh, those students, after you have uh, did examination, you will have now to graduate, okay? So after you have gra graduated to another class, you are going to, to meet other people. You are going to meet different teachers. The teacher who was teaching you in a, the class that you are is not the same same teacher who will be teaching you in the class that you are going on. Okay, So it is good also to focus on your own, not to follow people. Okay. In the last video, I was saying that uh, I'm sorry I will not be doing collabs. The reason why I say this is that... Uh, we have got uh, the YouTubers right now in the village, the new YouTubers. 
the visitors all of them they have come to visit Nyabohanzi. we are appreciating for that because visitors are blessings okay okay let me clap for them a bit for the visitors who have visited Nyabohanzi. we are very happy because visitors are blessings okay okay so there is this guy uh, I will not mention his name. I will not mention his name. This guy came to me. He's a new, he's a new YouTuber. He came to me and he asked me, fellow the boy, uh, please, I, I need to do a video with you, okay? Then I told him it's okay. Doing a video with me is not a problem, but, uh, uh, okay, he came and said that I want to do a video with you in your video. No, no, no in my video, yeah? In his now, in his channel, what that's what I mean. So he didn't want it to to do a video in my channel, yeah. And uh, I was open. I told him I wanted to be open and frank to tell me why is it that you don't want to do a video in my channel, but you want me to do a video in your channel. So this guy told me that uh, uh, that I had. I was told that uh, when when I when he, somebody do a video with you, he cannot be accepted to do a video with any another person in Nyabohans, okay? This is what he, see, to, he said to me, that I was told that uh, those people who are doing videos with fellow the boy, they forget about doing a video with me or with someone else, okay? So I told him it's okay then. If you cannot do a video in my channel, you want me to do a video in your channel, uh, because that uh, you are fearing that, uh, uh, or you are told, uh, fellow, when you do a video in fellow, uh, fellow the boys YouTube channel, uh, you are no longer now to do a video with anybody else in Nyabohansi. So I told him that uh, it is better if you can be able, you go and look for those people who told you that way that uh, you cannot uh, uh, do a video with them if you do a video with fellow the boy. You go and do videos with them, okay? Guys, you know, we came from far. It's God who kept us where we are right now, okay? That... Uh, Somebody has did a video with fellow the boy. He cannot go and do a video with another YouTuber in Nyabuhansi. That's nonsense. Yeah. Just nonsense. In fact, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. For a human being, a complete human being, how can you feel pity or feel, feel jealousy to someone? How can you tell, how can you... Uh, Come and tell me that uh, I was told not to do a video, that well, if I do a video with you, somebody said that if you go and do a video with fellow the boy, you will not be able to do a video with anybody in Nyabuhansi. So from now today, those guys who are thinking that maybe fellow the boy, they can do a video with fellow the boy, I'm sorry. In fact, today I was talking to Zach and I was telling Zach, me, I will not be able to do a video with anybody now. Okay? I won't. Because if somebody, if, if you can, okay, you want me to do a video with you in your channel, you come later and upload that video after you are traveling from the village. There's a girl who did this last time. He came and do a video with me. When she did a video with me, she just told that video. Then she went and uh, do a video with other YouTubers in the village. So she was afraid that if she posts first my video, she will not be accepted uh, or she will not be received with the other YouTubers. I don't think it makes sense. When she came to me, she came to me the next, uh, she, she uploaded this video. Guys, she uploaded this video. Remember she was in the village two weeks, in the village doing her videos with other YouTubers. But uh, she came to upload the video after the two weeks when she was now traveling back to, back to her home. So I said it's okay, there's no problem. In fact, I went, I watched that video. So people were asking, where was this video before? On the comments. But um, I don't complain, I'm not complaining about this. Because when she came back again, she said that she wanted to do a video with me. I told her that no, I will not be able to do a video with you because uh, you did a video with me last time. You never uploaded my video because we, I was the first one to do with you a video in your channel. In Nyabuhansi. So you went and uh, stored the, the video. You went and did the video with other people. Then 
you are uploading their videos, but mine you came and upload later. later. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, uh, with me, I don't think if I will be able to do a video. Maybe Zach can do, maybe Otenga can do. Yeah, it's, sometimes it is good to be open. You see, when this boy came out to say this, let me call him boy because he's still calling himself fellow the boy, right? <laughs> They've told me in the comment section to stop calling these people boys. I, I should be calling them men. <laughs> Guys, maybe it's because they are younger than me. But anyway, they are men, right? Yeah, they are men. Fellow is also a man. He said he's going to change from fellow the boy to fellow the man. Definitely. Very soon we are waiting for that. Anyway, when he came out with this story, guys, I had to go back and check. Who is this girl that was in the village? And I went and I checked. And I checked and I checked. It's the same person that was in the village and did videos with all the boys in Yabohanze. Six month ago guys if you know you know if you know <laughs> hey you know this girl did all these videos she did this video with fellow the boy and kept it aside and then she went and did the video with this other gang all right and then she never posted fellow the boy's video she never did that until the moment she left the village going back to where she was going to this is the moment she did that that video with fellow the boy i mean that's when she posted the fellow the boy video so he did not mention but i went out digging and i found out same 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 girl is back in the village right now she's doing videos all over the place she's doing videos all over the place i talked about it yesterday guys she was doing a video with marwa the other day asking marwa a lot of questions written on the on the paper Marwa, this, Marwa, you see, your people are the ones who gave me this GoPro, blah, 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 all these things. She's, she's there in the village. And do you know what? The moment she arrived in Yabohans, she went straight to fellow the boy. And that is why we see him talking about this. This is my own opinion, guys. This is how I see things, okay? <laughs> I was not there. I've not, told, I've not been told anything, but this is how I see these things. She went straight to him again to use him. Knowing very well that she's not supposed to go to fellow the boy if she's really going to do videos with this other gang. So fellow the boy is like, I'm not doing collabos. I'm sorry. Go and do collabos with the gang. Okay? But at the same time, fellow the boy has a, a question. He's like, why can't you do things on your own? Why can't you trust yourself? Oh my goodness, that one really hit me. You know that moment when I say that, oh, let's agree and disagree, let's learn if we have to. This one now is a lesson. To me, I'm like, do you have to be in a group of people? Do you have to be part of ABCD? Why can't you trust yourself? You started your channel by yourself. Why can't you trust yourself and stand by yourself? Because sometimes you want to collaborate with people, they start drama. They start issues. And we're like, what is this? Where is this coming from? Can we do something together? Oh, no. By the end of the day, guys, issues will come out. Drama will come out. I don't understand. Sometimes you want to come together and maybe lift someone else's channel up or just help each other in so many ways. You can be helping me with ideas. I can be helping you with building your channel. We can be putting ideas together to do something, but we are helping each other in so many ideas on these streets. But guys, believe me, by the end of the day, drama will start. Oh, jealousy will start. Issues, petty, petty issues. Chaos. Everything is scattered and everyone is happy. <laughs> I've learned a lot on these streets. Eh? I've learned a lot. That is why me, guys, when I come to you, I just address you as you. I address me as me. I'm like, thank you guys for always coming back. My keyboard reactors, my this, this. It's me. I started this thing by my own. You people, you decided to join me and support me. Let's move it that way. Okay? Let's move it that way. I think I've learned something from this trace. Let's go now to Mik Mik and Mik Mik's mother, Mik Mik's sister. They came in the village, guys. Hi! What I've seen, I'm like, whoa. Hey, wait, guys, wait, wait. What am I seeing? So Mik Mik's mother brought a cow to Marwa. 
Mick Mick and Mick Mix. Eh, Mick Mix mother and Mick Mix sister. This uh, this name is just too much for me sometimes. Mick Mix mother and Mick Mix sister they came in the village and brought a cow. And according to this girl, Mick Mix sister, she's like she's brought this cow because they did a collab with Marwa and this is just a cow for Thanksgiving. And this cow also their mom had to release this cow because uh it is Marwa's family that has done what has helped her daughters to do youtube and now she can get some money from her daughters and all this story they're pulling together and so marwa you deserve it and so marwa you deserve it by the end of the day mama is telling marwa you have my blessings have my blessings because this cow don't even slaughter it you know what i want you to keep this cow and be drinking milk from it <laughs> you know in my mind i'm like the Virginia should be the big beneficiary here. And they all know that. Because definitely Marwa is having a party, you know, by the end of the month. Oh, have we started October yet? Mm -hmm. The wicked month is coming. Guys, this October, hey, for us Christians, we pray. Because hmm, so many things happen. You know what I mean. Right, guys? You know what I mean. Yeah, here we call it an evil month. So October, uh, November is just around the corner. And they brought this cow and they know definitely Marwa needs something to slaughter. He has been saying these things. He called for them anyway. He called for the goats and the cement and he's been receiving them. Marwa has received I don't know how many bags of cement today. A lot of cement. How can he say no? How can Marwa say no? He called for them. And then the next day, he was like, no, guys, don't come here. Oh, don't send here. Oh, don't come for collabs. I was like, Marwa, stop confusing people and also stop confusing yourself. You have already called for these things. And people have been preparing to bring them. Even I remember I said the other day, guys, let's expect the unexpected. Because people are going to bring these things in the village. Big time. He announced it. He announced it. Period. If you bring this thing, you will never be a shout out. You will always be welcomed. The cow was brought. I don't know, they said 40 kilometers away from home. The cow was walking, 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 walking 40 kilometers to come to Marwa. <laughs> Guys, you know, there are things that we expected from this village, but these ones now, they're taking us to a different place. You know, I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Guys, are we flying or what? You know? Anyway, this is Mick Mick's mother and Mick Mick's sister coming to see Marwa, bringing the blessings, bringing the cow. It should not be slaughtered, blah, 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 blah. There's one thing also that I got from their conversation. This one, Marwa spoke it in Swahili, but now let me bring it out. Now this thing has been in on my table for a very long time. I did not have enough receipts to talk about it. I got an email someone wrote to me telling me that this girl, Mick Mick's sister, they were posing as girlfriend and boyfriend in Nairobi with this boy called Babushka. They've been in all the interviews in Nairobi. Babushka, I've heard, I had I those links and everything. Babushka was saying that this Mick Mick's sister is his girlfriend. And they were interviewed by Kyoko. Kyoko was like, how did you meet? And all these things. They've been explaining how they met and everything. But at the same time, the same same Babushka and Mik Mik, they've been like sister and brother. We are saying that they've been like sister and brother because Mik Mik, when she came to Nyabuhanse to see Marwa last time when Marwa was there, if you remember that time, when Babushka was dancing with Marwa. Mik Mik said that Babushka is her brother. So we've all known that Babushka is Mik Mik's brother. And now Mik Mik's sister has been dating Babushka. Where are the receipts? I've been waiting for the receipts for a very long time. Because this issue has been on my table. Marwa himself knew that Mik Mik, because Mik Mik told Marwa that this is my brother, Marwa himself knew that Mik Mik is Babushka's sister. Today, Marwa is asking this mama, straight on her face, so mama, you mean that Babushka is your son? Mama, 
said no. Babushka is not my son. <laughs> Babushka is their friend. That is what mama said. Mama did not say that, oh, Babushka is my daughter's boyfriend. She never said that. Mama did not say that, oh, Babushka is Mickey Mick's brother. Mm -mm -mm. Mama said, Babushka is their friend. So everything that Mick Mick has been posting with this Babushka showing us people out there, lies, 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 guys. All this posing that this Mick Mick sister have been posing with Babushka in Nairobi, doing interviews and telling people how they are girlfriend and boyfriend. You know what? All lies. Lies after lies. Mick Mick and her sister and Babushka. It's been like the way I was telling you guys. They're all posing for these romantic stories all the time. I don't know how they feel about it. Is this whole thing going to destroy their reputation at some point in life? I don't know. What if Babushka one day gets a real girlfriend? Like the real, real one. And these videos are still on the internet. You know, internet never lies, they say, right? What will happen? I don't understand these people why they are posing with these, you know, romantic videos and lying just because of views. Guys, this is what people are doing for money, like seriously. They say as reactors, we are the ones who are getting dirty money because of talking about people and blah, blah, blah. What about this one that people are lying for views and revenue? What about it? At least for us, reactors, we are out here talking and analyzing. I mean, it's all about analyzing and criticizing, agreeing and disagreeing with their videos that they have pulled out publicly. I don't come out here to start lying about something. Pausing, you know, showing romantic moves and saying these false stories. Oh, I am this, we met here, oh, all those lies. Now today, Marwa asked Mama. That is the point that I got from this whole story. <laughs> hey, so Babushka is your son. Mama is like, hey, he's not. He's their friend. Why did Mick Mick have to lie about Babushka being his brother? You know, Marwa also was confused at some point. But anyway, that is how it was. But now, let's check on the things, especially the gifts that Marwa received in the village, the cement, the cow, it's going to be a very long receipt, guys. All right, be prepared. Let's watch this together. So here we have Bok. I'll start with you. Yes. Yes, Bok. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. How oh, you decided to take a whole cow from your home to bring in my <laughs> compound? Now. Just to appreciate you. The other day I was here, I was so, I felt so nice. Yeah. There you welcomed me. This is not a trap book. No, you did a video with me. I didn't yes. expect that you would agree. Okay. Yeah, so you took a whole cow from mom. And mom looks very simple. Mom, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you later. What mom is saying here, her name is actually Esther. It's a huge coincidence because also my mom's name is Esther. She said she has two daughters and the younger daughter has been saying uh, how I helped her. I don't know, actually, I can't remember because I helped too many people in this compound. And also, the other day, this is the elder daughter. Yeah. What's your other sister's name is? She's called Mik Mik on YouTube. Yeah, I know Mik Mik. Yeah. One time we danced with her here with Babushka. Where was Mama Babushka? Oh, okay. Okay. So I don't know if you guys remember, we had this guy called Babushka. And they came with one lady, we danced here. But that was a long time ago, close to eight months ago. And now Mik who is her younger daughter, told the mom that, hey, there's a guy who is a YouTuber who helps us a lot. And also, after telling the mom, and also the elder daughter here, her name is Boke. Okay. I think you, you can speak for yourself now. You told your mom. Yeah, guys, I came here the other day. Mara really welcomed me so good. I took yeah. his time. Okay. He even accepted to do a video with me. I posted on my YouTube channel, and yeah. I really got a lot of views. Okay. Yeah. Guys, what I was telling mom here is uh, I was giving him an example of my Yugno for those guys who are very new here. 
that guy who started this uh, vlog here, he's building his uh, villa just right here, 100 meters up here. It's been like six or seven months since I taught him about to do YouTube. So I'm, I was telling mom and mom, she's saying uh, sh she blesses me for blessing other people and also blessing her kids. Now I feel like now I am obligated to be teaching you YouTube. I'm going to me this cow, guys, come close. Uh, so the mom says she's given me, that's why I'm going to teach you YouTube. I'm going to teach you YouTube. I'm going to teach you YouTube. The mom tell me, tells me uh, this cow, the mother, has a lot of milk, so I should actually keep it here. Ah, yeah, you can't have kukula majani. I Yes, I was telling her I have, uh, I have a party, uh, but I will not slaughter this one. It will stay. Says I should keep this cow, guys. When I'm milking it, I, I have to remember, like, oh, this came from Atrin. Ah, this one I'll keep it. Is Asa? Guys, I don't even know how to say thank you because sometimes I feel like I'm already a rich man, you know? But somebody like her and her family, they take what they have and they bring it to me. Sometimes I feel like I'm really taking from where I'm not supposed to take. But at the same time, this is a gift, guys. I never planned. It just showed up. You know, I saw this guy coming with a cow. Guys, guys, we received uh, lots of gifts today. We received six bags from a village grandpa, and here we received other cements. Uh, so there's a guy called Robert uh, who sent me a gift of cement, and he sent it through village grandpa. These are the bags. Actually, I received five bags from him, and then uh, one guy, uh, no, village grandpa added me one bag. And here we have 20 bags of cement that these guys are taking in very strong and uh, and somebody who gifted me is here hey what's up hi guys yes <laughs> this is joy yeah let's walk let's walk around joy joy yeah so why did you give me 20 bags of cement Marwan. yes 20 bags of cement is yes. nothing oh my god you understand wow. because uh -huh. the kindness that you people have shown me yes is what more than that. Wow. Yeah. I wow. came here. Yes. You didn't even know me. Yeah. And you took me in. Okay. You and your family took me in. Okay. And when I try to when I try to contribute, yes. Your mother don't want me to. You understand? It's, it's not actually us, it's an African thing. Especially yes. from the village here. Oh. Woo, a lot, a lot, a lot of things happening in your hands. I had missed this one, guys. This is not is this yesterday's video actually this is yesterday's video i think this is yesterday's video and i had missed on it like completely i had missed on it i had people talking about now cows are coming in the village and i was like who's bringing cows i did not know that it was this whole long story happening in the village but yeah guys it is what it is so if you feel like you want to give maro whatever you want to give him for collabos you're free to do so <laughs> definitely you are free to do so cement is coming in cement is coming in left right and center joyce's is also in the league she has to do what she has to do you know she has also to activate or recharge her staying around you know because this is what she said you've heard what she said that you people, you welcomed me and blah, blah, blah. And when I want to contribute or something, your mom says no. So I saw it better to do this, which is a good thing, definitely. You know, how can be, guys, how can be people coming from Nairobi bringing gifts and people are sitting there in the village doing nothing, you know? And yet they are there busy doing their videos all over the place. And they're not giving Maro anything just because some of them are foot soldiers, some of them are assistant, whatever they are, the, whatever those names they are calling themselves. But they're not giving Maro anything. You know, they're just there in the village like, eh, did you see what happened between Maro and Baki Baki? Guys, let's check this out. Oh. Yes, sir. If you are coming to work, then you should come early in the morning. I should come early in the morning? Because right now we have a cow in the house. Uh -huh. And I don't know, as my assistant uh -huh. what you have to say but nah. it's too late for you to react 
and I, I have to react. Uh, but then I had something to, to me. I was working today. I was working somewhere very early in the morning, so okay. I could not make it on time. Guys, this is Minhao. She's my foot soldier. Okay. Yes, foot and, soldier. Uh, yeah. How do you feel, Minhao? You don't have a gom combat. Combat. Soldier, he do. He'll take look like a Valentine Day, guys. Imagine. Yeah, like no, I yeah. know. I know where I fight my wars. You okay. know, I know how I protect my wars. So yeah, that should protect. not bother any of you. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I am Mama yeah. Hey, guys, you see. The problem when you are working under someone, you must be here in time. You know, <laughs> I've given you free passage in the village. You are free to enter my home. You are free to do videos around and all these things. And you are coming late. Eh? Guys, <laughs> I don't know. Leave your comments down below. Let me not even go into that. Let me just not go into that. It looks like. This is what was said in camera. What about what is not said on camera? Definitely. I know. Because they usually say Marwa is a very different person when he's out of the camera than when he's on the camera. We don't know if he'll go back again and address that issue because it has to be addressed. How can you be like bragging and shouting and screaming all over the place calling yourself assistant or personal assistant when you don't come at work early enough to receive all the cows and the goats? Things are being received in this village. I even said this in the other video. I said, guys, listen, that boy who came with the luggage from Nairobi, he was running all over the place going to look for Marwa. And the foot soldiers were not around to understand who is getting to Marwa. If people want to attack Marwa in that village, it's so easy. Guys, in fact, we are so lucky that this is just Nyabohans. If it was in a, a different village, I don't know what would have happened. See, there's another girl that also came from Nairobi with a baby. Straight, she went to Marwa. Marwa was like, where are my foot soldiers? Where are my assistant, personal, whatever? They're in the home there, doing their videos, enjoying themselves, bringing nothing to Marwa, nothing, nothing. And they're not even doing their job so well. <laughs> it's none of my business. Now, Mayugno is also pressured, or let me say challenged. Listen to him. Uh, Joy, uh, yeah. gifts have been coming here, Joy. If you are me, what could you do? I feel like somebody has, you, has trapped me. No, don't feel like that. Okay. Don't feel like that. It's a okay. gift because you, you also need okay. it for your party. You know, it's true because uh, tomorrow I'm paying school fees for one girl, uh -huh. 20,000 Kenyan shillings. Yes. And somebody just brought me a whole cow. Yeah, that's a blessing. Imagine. It's I, a blessing. Imagine. Yeah. And today for the first time. Yeah. And me, this it's, guy is... It's not they for so... No, yeah. talk, my, my, you can talk. Uh, you know, this guy surprised my boss with the cow. Yeah. He make me so, I I shock fast. So, uh -huh. my shock is make me I still sacred. Yeah. Okay. I make sure I prepare something heavy, heavy. So, no, no, no. no. <laughs> so, guys, no pressure. Yeah. No pressure. So, no pressure. thanks God. Yeah. I know, because yeah. this is a, and me, I don't say I have a gift and I say I don't no, have a gift. No, yeah. no, so, no, no. So, it's a real. It comes from your heart. Uh -huh. Real. Yes. Me before I prepare a small heavy. It's well, not. Gonna... I don't know. It's heavy. I don't know. It's not it's heavy. Not so water. people, you are gonna say in the comment oh, section very God. soon after this bomb is come kulepukari. My you know, saying he's feeling pressure because we have somebody hey, who has cow. Guys, cow. 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 Imagine cow is not vegetable. It's not vegetable. Cow. <laughs> cow is not vegetable. Did you hear that, guys? <laughs> cow is not vegetable. Mayugno is pressured. Mayugno is challenged. Mayugno is like, oh my God, I was preparing something for the boss, but I feel like these people, they're just too much. If you remember the person who started this whole thing, Vidijona. And when Vidijona went to Mayugno, Mayugno, you know, chased him away. And after that, people have been bringing things, goats, sheep, chicken, cement, now a cow. And now Mayugno is like, oh my god and i'm just here you know he feels pressured he really feels pressured he's like hey guys i should do something that i feel it's more than what these people are doing because you see i'm here i'm just here close to this my boss but these people they're overtaking the same thing i feel i think this joy sees also she felt it she was like whoa i should do something she brought in 20 bags of cement there are others there who are still working and walking around, coming around with nothing, and they're not even doing their jobs. Maro is like, hey, where have you been? Hey, where have you been? <laughs> busy, busy making money. See, 
when we said these things, even before Marwa came, we said these people, they're just using this Marwa also for views. The same, same things that they are saying that we are doing, using Marwa for views, they're also doing the same thing. I'm using Marwa for views and I'm not going to take any goat in that place. It's the same, same thing that they are also doing. They're not bringing in goats. They are not bringing in sheep or chicken or anything. They are still making a lot of videos and views and revenue from that place. And they're not buying Marwa anything. And they have all the names. And they're bragging. And <laughs> Oh, guys, I don't know what to say. Let me just leave it there. This is just too much for me. Hey, this is just too much for me, guys. Let me leave it here. Let me go back again in Yabahonze and start popping my eyes around and see what I can bring for you again tomorrow on another video. Guys, let's talk about what I've been brought on this table. <laughs> you know me, guys, I'm still laughing. <laughs> the challenge is big. Yeah, the challenge is so big. Let's talk about everything that has been put on this table. Let's analyze together. Okay, let's agree and disagree together respectively. Let's, you know, criticize Learn if we have to. Okay, guys, have you checked my stock? Kindly do pick anything that you feel is good for you. Please, 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 and support this girl. We have the hoodies. We have the t-shirts for ladies, t-shirts for men. We have the mugs. We have the bags. Pick anything that you feel is good for you. Leave your comments down below. As usual, guys, let's get ourselves into that corner where we interact. Okay? Lazy gang members, remember I said what? I love you to the moon and back. I will always do that in my keyboard reactors. I love you. I love you to the moon and back. Eh, leave your comments, guys. Like this video and subscribe. What are you waiting for? Hit on that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Okay? Let's meet on the next one.